Hi all folks, this is Max from ZeroMax.com and uh, HTCEvoHacks.com so if for some reason you bought the warranty and you need to uh, return it for a new Evo 4G or whatever you want to return it back to completely stock you've installed uh, what is that the recovery menu clock or whatever <clears throat> for some reason if you want to get it back to factory um, you can just get the RUU on Windows computer and install it and there's another way to do it uh, you can also install the uh, uh, what is that Evo oh unrevoke dash forever dot zip then you can do it manually via SD card but uh, I'm just going to show you how to do it with uh, Windows um, since that's how I did it so what you're going to do is uh, I'm just going to show you what version I have I have actually the latest latest version update and uh, I'm going to bring it back to factory uh, so I can show you how to root it if you got if you just got the phone so my build is 3.70651.1 um, so as you can see this is the latest version 2.2 .2 as of January 19 2011 so this is like uh, the latest so what you want to do is download the RUU uh, the, the exe file I have links on this YouTube block uh, YouTube post and also my blog post and uh, basically download that and then uh, connect it connect your Evo to your computer via USB so let's go to our computer real quick I've got it connected to my Windows computer and what you're gonna do is turn it off power it off power off okay and then uh, hopefully you got it powered up I got it powered up and then what you're going to do is hit the uh, volume down button and then power button and then you're going to go into fast boot mode that's the mode you need to be in so it's recognized by your computer and you can install the RU update so I'm going to hit the volume down button hit the power button and then it's going to go into the bootloader and I have the hboot 2.10.001 which is the latest All right, and then it's going to check for some kind of file and then hit power button at fast boot and now it should say fast boot USB all right and then the next step and then the next step is that if you open up your device manager um, you should have under ADB interface my HTC if you don't have it if you get a, some kind of error so let me just do it uh, let me uninstall it Install it and then uh -oh, uh, let me just unplug it real quick. And if you don't have the right driver installed, what you'll get is uh, uh well, it keeps uh, let me uninstall it just to show you what happens if you don't have it installed. Delete these drivers, there we go. So, what you get is Android 1.1.0 1 .1 like that. Uh, so what you do is you just double click and uh, I'll have the links to the driver, update driver, browse my computer for my driver, <clears throat> and then look for that file, <clears throat> the HTC driver. Uh, for I have a Windows 64-bit, so I'll use that. But if you have 32, go browse that file that uh, you know I have links to the driver. And then next, installing driver update, and then OK and then now you should have my HTC now you're all good to go you don't need to you can install HTC sync to install drivers but that just takes longer what's the point and then also now you'll go to uh, you'll go open up the RUU uh, let me see it's the it's the 3.70 this is the latest one this is the one you, you'll want to run and then run this and this will let you unroot it back to completely stock um, you don't have to worry about it just let it run so long as it, it recognizes your uh, your uh, Evo okay I understand next and uh, if you have a Mac I'll show you another way to do it if there's enough people who want it and next now it's running uh, it's just gonna update it back to stock 
So the reason why I'm doing this so I can make another video to show people who just got the HTC Evo on how to root it, which is will be my next video, another rooting video, because my older root video is not going to work on the new ones. So just hit update, and this is going to take another uh, probably 10 minutes. So it's just going to, it's actually going to update the same one, but it's going to, you know, erase my recovery and everything. I just did to it. So now it's rebooting to bootloader and your phone is gonna look you know like this. It's gonna have HCC. And it's just gonna do its thing for like 20 minutes. And once it's once it's done, uh, it means your phone has been unrooted and it's back to completely stock updated to the latest uh, OTA update. So I'll be back after this finishes. So that's how you unroot it, but I'll, I'll show you the ending. Hi, all folks. So the rooting process has done, or no, unrooting process has just been done. Congratulations. Uh, my phone is rebooting, so now it's unrooted. Uh, for some reason, you want you install a bunch of different ROMs. You want to get, you know, you lost your WiMAX, and you can do this to get your WiMAX key back or whatever, get it back to completely stock. So it should boot up very, very shortly. Uh, let me just wait until then. Uh, da -da -da -da. And, uh, you know, for developers, you can unroot it like myself and uh, get it back to completely stock or update it to the latest OTA. OTA. So, there you go. So, I've got the Sprint logo. It's uh, completely stock. Um, now, I'm going to go root it to show new Sprint users how to root it. So, that'll be my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. I have more uh, tips on the HTC Evo. Um, also, I'm going to get the Nexus S pretty soon, so watch out for that. So, that's it. Well, it's, I don't want to wait. Well, let me just show you until it's uh, completely booted up. Doop -do -doop. And, uh, hello. You can probably skip to the end of this video to see it working, but I'm just recording this just to show you that it did unroot. And you can also even go check uh, your bootloader, and it should <clears throat> it should be uh, back to stock. No more recovery menu. Um, hello. It's coming. There you go. So I got it. It's uh, not working. Now it's doing the new uh, startup thing, thinking, uh, thinking you just got the thumb. So that's how you un unroot it. Uh, I'm going to go root it now. So see you all later.